Hi. Um, first, I just want to explain why this video is late. I was supposed to do it Saturday. Um, I didn't have time. Me and my boyfriend were out all weekend, and I didn't get home yesterday until 1.15 in the morning. I got up at 7.15 for work, so I decided to just do it today, okay? So I'm sorry it's late, but that's why. Second, I was going to do a video game review this week, but um, I need my boyfriend to actually record me playing the video game before I review it for you guys, and like I said, we didn't have time to do it this weekend because we were busy. So that video will be coming this Saturday because I'm going back over Eddie's house. My boyfriend's name is Eddie. Okay, so I decided to make this video about Dragon Gate USA. It's a Japanese wrestling promotion. That's actually what I did all weekend with Eddie. We went to Dragon Gate USA on Saturday, which I loved, so I'll get into that in a second. And we went to Jakarta for a Rex, which is a, it was an event for Jakarta, which is an American promotion. I didn't like it. It was just too violent for me. I'll explain that in a second. Uh, I just want to show you my Dragon Gate USA shirt real quick. I'm going to bring the phone up. I'm taping this my sidekick, so hopefully you can see the design. It's really cool. So I've asked about that on Sunday. Okay, so first let me set this up. I don't like violent or bloody sports, okay? I used, I was forced to watch UFC in the past. I hate UFC. I hate boxing. I don't like football. I do watch Super Bowl because it's kind of a tradition in my family. Like, you have people come over, and my dad and my sister are Jets fans. So, like, yeah, I like Mark Sanchez or whatever. He's a hottie, but, like, I don't like football. This Opinion extends to wrestling. I know wrestling is staged and it's choreographed, but that doesn't mean that the blood's always fake because it's not. You know, the wrestlers get injured, the wrestlers get hurt, and my feeling on it is just like it's violence for entertainment, and I don't like that. My boyfriend, Ed, I'll just call him Eddie. You guys know his name right now, right? Eddie is a wrestling fanatic. He has been into wrestling at least for half his life. So he was telling me, like, why don't you just come with me to Dragon Gate USA? He's like, it's the perfect wrestling promotion for you because it's not violent, it's not bloody, they don't use weapons, um, you know, they don't throw people into tables, they don't hit each other with chairs, there are no cage matches. He's like, it's, it's athletic and it's intense, but it's not violent. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a chance. So I went on Saturday, I loved it, okay? Now, initially I went for B.B. Hulk, this guy. Here's another picture of him. He has this really cool entrance and he goes into the ring um, where he actually dances to J-pop, like Japanese pop music I saw it on YouTube, and he has like backup dancers. And he kind of reminds me of Gap. Now, he looks nothing like Gap, I'm just saying, for some reason, that was the first thing I thought of. So I was like, okay, and I love Gats. Gats is a Japanese rock musician. He used to be the least singer in Alice Mother. So I was like, I'll go just for the CB Hulk guy, right? So we get there on Sunday, Saturday, sorry. Oh my god, I just shot my bumper sticker. Oh, okay. We get there on Saturday, and um, I lost the about. There was a meet and greet, okay, where you can meet the wrestlers. So there was a table with pictures, right? So. There was a picture of BB Hulk, so I bought that, but it was one for five or three for ten. So I was like, well, it makes sense for me to get three for ten dollars instead of one for five dollars. So Eddie bought a picture of Mike Quackenbush, who's an American wrestler in Dragon Gate. So I was like, well, I still need a third picture, right? So I was like, I don't know what I should get. And then I saw this guy, Yamato. He's totally hot. I love the little sexy smirk. He's given a lot of, like, attitude to this picture. So I was like, ooh, I was like, I'll get a picture of him. So I bought the pictures, I go up to the table, and um, B.B. Hulk wasn't there yet, but Yamato was there. Now, I have social anxiety, okay? I'm very shy and nervous around people that I don't know in real life. I know on Twitter it might not seem that way, but trust me, in real life, I'm shy, okay? So I was very nervous approaching Yamato because it was my first wrestling event. I didn't really know anything about him. So I walk up to him just like this, with his picture on top for him to sign it. And it's kind of funny because he goes through all the pictures, and then he stops on the picture of Quack, and he points at class, points at himself, and pretends to sign it. So he made me laugh. He put me at ease, you know? So he signed my picture. Um, you know, he, I'm sorry, yeah, he signed this, whatever. He made an autograph. We took a picture together. And he made a little, like, sexy smirk on the picture, too. It was really funny. So then I was walking away, and like I said, I'm nervous. So I was like, you know, whatever. So he stuck his hand out, like, to shake my hand. I thought it was really sweet, you know? Because I was already walking away from him and whatever. So I shook his hand. I made me really happy. I put my arm around him, too, in the picture. That made me really happy. He was really hot. But I was like, he's so friendly, he's so nice. B.B. Hulk was really low-key when I met him. He signed it. I asked him for a picture. He nodded, and that was it. Like, we didn't talk or anything. And he, he knows English, okay? It's not, it's not a thing like, oh, well, he doesn't know English. That's not true. Okay, so we get to the bell rings. You know, they start fighting, whatever. It was actually a pay-per-view match. This is the program for Saturday. It was Enter the Dragon. It was Dragon Gate's one-year anniversary in America. So Yamato comes out later. He's part of Kamikaze USA. He's a heel. And if you don't know what a heel is in wrestling, it's a villain. So, you know, they're the kind of people, like, when somebody wins a title or a belt, they'll go in the ring and beat him up afterwards, okay? And they put him up against the really popular kind of, like, the hero, you know, heroes of the promotion, whatever. So, like, nobody in the crowd was cheering for Yamato because they were following the storyline. I didn't give a fuck about storyline. I love Yamato. I was trying to, like, get a crowd chant going for him, and people were just like, no. Okay. 
let's go through the rest of my Dragon Gate stuff. This is a bumper sticker that I dropped uh, BB Hall. They don't really have hardly any Yamato merchandise. There's a key chain for him online, but they didn't have it at the event on Saturday. This is at the ECW Arena in Philly, just to tell you where it was. This is my Dragon Gate fan. It's double-sided. It's cool. Um, it was so hot on Saturday. I don't know why. Like, the AC was on, but the, they left the doors open the whole time, so, like, the hot air was coming through. This is what my boyfriend bought me on Sunday. Oh, I met Yamato on Sunday, too. It's a car for his rep, okay? He was there. It was, there were Takara wrestlers wrestling Dragon Gate wrestlers. He didn't wrestle, but he showed up. So I walked up to him, and I was like, you kicked ass on Saturday. So, like, he laughed at that. He kind of smiled. And then we took a picture, and he was, like, holding my hand. So as you can tell, that made me really happy. I'm a total fangirl for him now, okay? Like, I'm going to go to every single Dragon Gate promotion that there is. I love Dragon Gate, but I love Yamato, okay? Um, the next Dragon Gate event is October 30th. It's two days after my birthday, and his birthday is in September. I hit him up on Wikipedia. So I'm actually going to go with the birthday gift for him. Um, so go back to Dragon Gate real quick. Um, Brian Danielson, he's also known as the American Dragon. He was the main event on Saturday. He was, you know, the main pay-per-view thing, whatever. He fought against Shingo. He was awesome. He's the best wrestler I've ever seen in my life, okay? And my boyfriend actually got to meet him after the match. He was really cool, really nice, whatever. This I got on Saturday at Dragon Gate. They passed this out Saturday. They kind of deflated. You're supposed to put them together, right? Let me go through Sunday really quick. Sunday was Takara for a threat. It was Takara, like I said. I didn't like it. It was too intense for me. It was too violent. I will just explain it like this. There were several wrestlers where they were picked up from a height and directly dropped on their head, okay? And, like, it just made me cringe. Do you know what I mean? That's how I will say it. Like, I didn't cringe at all on Saturday, and I cringed several times on Sunday. It was too much for me. Um, my boyfriend, though, Takara is one of his favorite wrestling promotions, and his favorite wrestler's name is Eddie Kingston, so it's kind of funny. They both have the same first name, Eddie. They're both Puerto Rican. They actually look alike. If you look up, you know, Eddie Kingston, you look at Eddie, they look alike, so it's kind of creepy or funny, but um, he got to meet Eddie Kingston after the event. I took a picture of them, and we kind of got Eddie introduced us to each other, so it was kind of cool. Um, I think that's everything. I Hopefully, I'm not missing anything out. Um, I already showed you my shirt, right? I think I showed you at the beginning, but this is my Dragon Gate USA shirt that I got Sunday. It's really cool. So, oh, I will say this really quick, though. I hope this is under 10 minutes. Um, in September, the number one female wrestler of all time, Anami Toyota, she's going to be at Chikara. So I'm definitely going to go. That's in September. So I had a really good weekend. That's my whole wrestling Yamato fangirl stuff for you. And um, I will be back on Saturday with my video game review. So I'll see you then. Bye.